our approach to covering uh, NBA futures, we're going to do it a little bit different. We're going to do team betting previews. So we're going to take a look at all the high profile teams. We won't be doing uh, these for the, the Hornets and Wizards and Raptors, unfortunately. But the teams that most people care about, the high profile teams, we're going to take a look at their futures odds, overall feelings about them. And then John is going to give a fan friendly uh, pick out for each team. So usually if you're a fan of the Knicks, for example, who we're going to be talking about here in a couple of seconds, you want to bet something to support the Knicks. So that's the approach John's going to take with his best bets for each of these teams. So let's start with those New York Knicks here. They were in the news. Uh, shocking to wake up to this one on Saturday morning. Uh, we have a little graphic here with all of their futures odds. If producer Mick wants to pull that up. So the Knicks here coming off a 50 and 32 season. Uh, exciting playoff run, cut short by injuries last year, but we take a look at them. They're 7-1 to win the NBA Finals, plus 290 to win the Atlantic Division, win total of 54 and a half. That's up 4.5 from last season. Now, key additions, we'll break this one down. Carl Anthony Towns, McCall Bridges, uh, key losses, Randall, Dante goes, and uh, Hartenstein, John loves that pickup for the Thunder. Yeah. And his futures bet will break this down in a second, uh, plus 290 to win the Atlantic Division. Now, John, I don't like the trade to bring in Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, you take him, I know him and Randall are two different players. They're only separated by one year in terms of age. Car I know Randall's coming off the injury this season, but it's not like Carl Anthony Towns has been the pitcher of perfect health either. I don't like breaking up the Villanova guys, man. I love that story about this team, right? They got that brotherhood, and they broke that up for Carl Anthony Clowns, who I think is a very inconsistent guy. I don't think he's the acquisition to put this team over the top. That said, you know, I, I still do like the Knicks. They got a lot of depth. We'll see if uh, Thibodeau plays these guys into the ground during the regular season. He probably learned his lesson last year. But yeah, I like the Knicks. I'm on their bandwagon. I'm a Raptors fan, so I have to pick somebody who's actually going to be in the mix to uh, to cheer for. So I like the Knicks overall as a team. I love Brunson. I don't like the trade. What do you think of the trade, and what's your big picture view of the Knicks coming into the season? Then we'll get you to break down that best bet. Yeah, my initial reaction was kind of shocked because I just didn't – it just came out of nowhere, and the NBA is really good about that. Um but it just further, they're trying to build a roster that matches the Celtics and matches what the Celtics do. And that that is Towns. That's the kind of the player they needed. Like when you look at, you know, you have the four wings and you have two guys who can defend, Mikhail Bridges, OG Anobi. You can shoot threes. You need to be able, everyone needs to be able to shoot threes. And kind of that hole was Mitchell Robinson, not necessarily a hole, but a hole to the shooting threes. He's a good defender, but he, he there's no three-point shooting coming from him. And it looks like they just wanted to go all in on that. And that's what the Celtics did too. That's what they do with Porzingis. Horford shoots 40% from three. So it's just to match what the Celtics were doing. And they, you even saw like a week ago, they were kicking around, well, we might play Randall at the five because that Randall at the five would give them a lineup where all five guys can shoot the three. Well, Towns is a seven footer and a center who can rebound and kind of protect the rim and stuff. So it's a much better fit for what they were trying to do. It also does move Towns into a spot. He doesn't have to be a superstar, right? Like you cut you Brunson's the alpha of this team. And now you've grabbed Mikel Bridges and Carlton Towns who have had a lot of pressure on them to lead the Timberwolves, lead the Nets at some points in their career. Now they kind of get to slide into more secondary roles. So I think that helps. I I really like what the Knicks did here. I, I didn't like the Dante DiVincenzo thing, like you said, the Nova Knicks, but then the reports came out the next day that he actually wasn't too fond of all of them being together and playing together and stuff like that. So, Ooh, okay. I, yeah. Never so I don't know, then. Ray, I don't know if he okay. asked for, I don't know if he asked for the trade. I don't know. I don't know if he wanted to go to Minnesota. I don't know all the details and stuff, but when it came out the next day that he was looking for a bigger role and he wanted to go somewhere else, that changed my whole opinion on the trade the night of, I was like, ah, oh, it seems really weird. I'm surprised they couldn't do this trade without DiVincenzo, but it came out the next day that he didn't, really his role was going to get suffocated he was going to go to the bench and he was just playing 40 minutes per game in the playoffs so i think that that was obviously a big part of it too so um they're a serious serious contender to win everything win a lot of games they have a very very strong team and it, it fits what the modern nba is they've done a really good job of putting this roster together they got grit they are battle tested uh you know i, I love brunson i love hart 
We'll see what Towns can bring to the table. You know, he did get some pretty good playoff experience under his belt. I'm not the biggest fan of Towns. I think he's very inconsistent. But, you know, he doesn't have to take the lead role by any means with this team. So let's go Knicks. And Dell making fun of me in the chat because I said I'm a Raptors fan, but I'm cheering for the Knicks. The Raptors pretty much came out yesterday in their media day and said, hey, we're rebuilding. <laughs> like they pretty how, – how do you get behind that? You can't get excited – about that as a fan. So when you're a fan of teams like the Miami Dolphins or the Toronto Raptors, you kind of have to look elsewhere for uh, for rooting interest, right? So uh, let's go next.